craft supplies, sewing machines, uh, paint supplies, gear, sanders. Welcome to the Northeast Seattle Tool Library. It's a lending library of some 8,000 tools from automotive to landscaping to hand and power tools of every sort. Josh Epstein is a full-time coordinator here. A tool library is a place where people can come and get tools. And they borrow them just like a book library, bring them back when they're done. Yeah. Sweet. Thank Have a good one. You too. Like many of its 2,000 members, Josh first found the tool library because of a home renovation project he needed some help with. I was converting my garage into living space and needed scaffolding, like huge scaffolding, which could be thousands of dollars if you're even just renting it, let alone buying it. And they had 20 foot scaffolding here and I was just amazed. Got all that and was able to convert this garage, learning mostly from YouTube and some friends. That kind of do-it-yourself attitude is at the core of this community. Maya Altshuler, now a sophomore at Smith College, has been in the process of converting an old school bus into a tiny home with a whole lot of help from the tool library. It's fun to say that my first car is a bus. We stripped out all the seats, replaced the flooring, put in cabinets. It would be really cool to get it to a place where I could potentially live in it full time if I wanted to. Pick a board, cut a 90 and a 45. I want to empower somebody to do something they never thought they could do. Did you feel okay? Yeah, I did. Okay. Members also have access to a wood shop where Trisha Sillis is a shop steward. She's one of the 100 volunteers that keep this community space going strong. And she's looking to break stereotypes about who works with tools. Members do look at me for advice. They don't look past me for the advice. They actually engage me and being dismissed as that older woman who probably doesn't know, uh, that's not true. <laughs> there are about 50 independent tool libraries like this one spread throughout the country with different membership models. At this Seattle library, they have an optional yearly donation, but membership is free and open to all. A surprising number of them are in very good condition. Recycling and reuse are at the core of what tool libraries do. Carl Coney is one of the many volunteer repair people on site tasked with keeping the tools in rotation for as long as possible. I've always prided myself on fixing things rather than replacing them. Everybody doesn't need to have a pressure washer if they only use it four times a year. Uh, so having a place where they can just come in and then take whatever they want for their project uh, that makes real environmental sense. It's a lot of stuff that doesn't have to be manufactured and then disposed of. We know that there's environmental problems going on right now. We know that communities are getting less connected and we know that people are needing to save money right now. And so we're doing all those things. This is a movement that is really actually building a lot of momentum right now. We're getting this done and talking about the future of how we want to grow and change the world through the tool libraries. What a concept, right? Mm -hmm. Good I mean, deal. I mean, if that story, by the way, inspired you to start a tool library in your own hometown, okay. Josh and his team, they would love to hear from you, seriously. So you can visit their website for more information and for more stories like the one you just saw there. Tune into our Building Community Special. It's a special we put together. It's hosted by Joe Fryer. You can watch it this morning on Today All Day at 10 a.m. Eastern. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.